10 minutes. Then I'm going. Mm. Effervescent, you're tenacious. I thought you were forbidden to drink. What, 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 I need at least one vice to keep in touch with sinners. Whatever. Who owns this vineyard anyway? Uh, Count recently in from uh, France. Hmm. I'm told he purchased it from Don Gallo's widow. French Count, you say? He's probably stealing his parlor or putting on makeup. Or his perfume, uh, perhaps. Rumor has it they invented it to avoid bathing. <laughs> <laughs> and you are? De la Vega, Alejandro de la Vega. You're De la Vega. What an honor. I've heard so much about you. Really? From whom? You know, I'd love to continue this conversation, but I'm wanted elsewhere. Please excuse me. the most charming fellow. Now, who might that be? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I still don't know why they call it a wine tasting. After two glasses, you can't taste anything. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> Californians, this vineyard represents what I hope will become an industry that depends on the people for its success, involving them instead of exploiting them. That's what America means to me. The promise of a country by the people, for the people. A country blessed with limitless beauty. But none more stunning than my escort for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Senora Elena de la Vega. I'm pooped. Uh -uh. Come on, let's go. Go. I don't want to go. I want so much fun. Monsieur and Madame Paul. Place your man. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> Alejandro. Elena. Herman. De la Vega. Count. You know each other? We shared a giggle at the buffet table. Yeah, it seems that's no longer we have shared, eh? Allow me to diffuse an awkward situation. Elena has portrayed you as a man of impeccable character. Oh, I am honored to be mentioned at all. Why, well, I nearly forgot we were still married only three months ago. A, a blessing on your vineyard, Count. Thank you for inviting uh, us. Uh, but we have a uh, very uh, early Don't, mass don't to... be rude, Felipe. I'm just dying to know how the lovebirds met. Another time. We have many guests to greet. Arman, good evening. Ah, Governor Riley, you honor us with your presence. May I present my wife, Mary? Your speech was incredibly moving, Count. I'm glad you're not running for office against my husband. Ah, I wouldn't dare challenge the man who's going to lead California into the Union. I fear there may not be much of a Union left to join, Governor. Everyone, may I introduce Colonel R.S. Borga of the 1st Alabama Infantry? What brings you here, Colonel? The threat of civil war, my dear. Once California joins the Union, the Confederate states will be outnumbered. My countrymen find that troubling. <laughs> All this talk of politics, you know how it bores me, Armand. Shall we dance? Of course. Excuse us, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Imperial Quadrille. <laughs> Perhaps you shouldn't drink so much on an empty stomach. Perhaps you should wear lipstick or you're gonna act like my mother. 